Hi, I'm Joe Lenardi, and this is my bracket. Let's start in the South, where the overall top seed, Alabama, awaits. West Virginia over a bad road team. Interesting matchup, still like San Diego State and Virginia. Bottom of the South. Interesting scoring options in that matchup. Love Utah State, we'll talk about it. And of course, Arizona. Second round in the East. Still rolling with the tide. Tight in a slow game, still like San Diego State. This will be anything but slow. We go with the Blue Jays and maybe the tournament's biggest upset. Remember, Utah State's coach, Ryan Odom, beat UVA with UMBC five years ago. Into the Sweet 16 we go in the South. Still Alabama. Still high-scoring Creighton. And a regional final where the Crimson Tide keep on rolling. All right, that's the South. Let's go East, where the Big Ten champions await in Columbus. Purdue advances. FAU, they're dangerous. Red Hot Duke was tempted here, but still going to go orange. And in the bottom of the East, love this matchup. Love Ed Cooley. Something's not right with Kentucky still. K-State. Tom Izzo in Columbus, hard to go against that. And who's playing better than Marquette? That takes us to the second round in the East. Still tempted, still boiler up. This is easier than it looks because of injuries. Yeah. What do we think of an all Big East Sweet 16 matchup at Madison Square Garden. I like it. And we're going to look at these together. Duke over Purdue and Marquette over Big East rival Providence. And that is your Elite Eight in the left side of the bracket. We already have Alabama in the Final Four, and they will face, man, this might be the game of the tournament. The Elite Eight's my favorite round. Alabama Duke, half of the Final Four. Which brings us to the right side. Let's hope Houston is healthy for their sake. Don't like teams that can't win on the road. Ugh. Wish I knew Miami was going to be healthy. There's your 12 over the five. And Indiana getting poised for a little bit of a run here, I think. Iowa State, too many good wins for Pitt. Xavier here, very scary matchup. But we're going A&M, maybe Penn State, a little hungover from the Big Ten tournament. Would have loved Colgate against a less physical team. Okay, we're into the second round. This game's in Birmingham, remember. So upset potential, but still hard to go against Houston or Indiana in that spot. Like Iowa State, just, just seems to play well when they need it most. Best game of the round of 32, eeny meeny. How about the upset? You know a and still smarting from not playing the Longhorns on the gridiron. Bringing us to the Sweet 16, where we're going to go Houston and A&M for a spot in Houston. Two teams from the state of Texas closing out the Midwest region, and we're going to go with Houston coming home to play in the Final Four. Finally, the West, where Kansas 
sits atop the bracket. Jayhawks advance. And Arkansas over pretty erratic Illinois. Love St. Mary's in this matchup, even though I'm an A-10 guy. Uh, UConn playing in nearby Albany against Rick Pitino. That one's not too tough. And we go the bottom half. Tempted here, but TCU with Miles, very good. Gonzaga playing extremely well. Let's stick with TCU there. And here I like Boise. I think Northwestern might be out of gas. And, of course, the Bruins out west. Takes us into the second round. Really tempted here. Really tempted here, but not. If this game wasn't in Albany, watch out for St. Mary's. They could slow the Huskies down, but a near home game for UConn. Gonzaga, as we said, playing extremely well late in the year. And a repeat. This region goes all chalk. The only one, one, two, three, and four into the Sweet 16. And we're going to put into our Elite Eight. How about UConn out west where they've had a lot of success? And UCLA will be the popular pick. We're going Zags. And that takes us to a regional final where, in a down year, allegedly, Gonzaga goes back to the Final Four. All right, we're almost home. Duke playing as well as anybody in the country, but can they stop Brandon Miller? I don't think so. I'm not seeing that. And... Houston in Houston, can't do that. Alabama, we're told, had the best win of the year, winning at Houston. Can they win in Houston again? I say no. And the hometown team, if healthy, cuts down the nets.